a really classic way to start any programming language or platform or things like that is to create a hello world program and it's been used for many years it um, just makes sure that you're set up properly and that you can um, put output to a screen or a console and it's a really good way to start so um, to do this I'm gonna go ahead and start unity hub and today I'm going to be using version Unity 2019.4.2F1. So to pick the, the version of Unity that I would like to use, I'm going to go over to New and do the pull down, and that's where you can select what version you would like. Now I have many versions of Unity installed. I'm just going to pick the one I would like to create my program in. And at that point, it's going to ask us what type of program we would like to create. Now I am um, going to be using the 3D template and I'm going to be giving my project a name. So I'm going to just call mine Hello World since I'm creating a Hello World program that seems appropriate. Now I also want to select the, the location of where I would be um, saving this and right now just to find it easy I'm going to put it on the desktop um, and select that. Likely you'd want to place in your um, C drive where you're going to be saving things, but just for easy access and demonstration, I'm going to be putting it there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And what it's going to do is make a um, project folder for me in Unity. And it takes a little while to create because it's um, setting up really um, hundreds of different little tiny files behind the scenes. So um, I'm going to let this go, but um, I'll, I'll jump ahead in the video and you then don't have to um, watch it for super long. Okay, now that my file is all set and ready to go, it looks um, pretty um, standard. Right now we've got um, our um, default Unity layout here. Just a tour of it. Um, uh, over here I have my hierarchy, which will show all the objects I have in my scene. I have my assets folder, which will contain all of the code files as well as any um, graphic assets and things. I have my scene view, which um, we won't really be dealing with much today. Today we're just going to be outputting some um, text to the console. And over here, there's an inspector that will be a panel um, that will uh, fill with um, settings and things. Also, we're not spending much time on that today. All right, notice um, in the default setting, behind the project tab, there is the console tab. So that is where I'm going to be um, outputting text to. So um, what I'm going to be doing is I started my new Unity project. And I'm going to be um, creating a script that I can code in. So what I'm going to be doing is in my project view, I'm going to click create, which is this little plus, and choose what I would like to create. So I want to make a brand new C Sharp script. Now notice it has a um, little icon there. And right now, by default, it says new behavior script. Well, I want to give it a name right away, and I will just go ahead and call it Hello World with a capital H. But it's important not to put any spaces in this because it's actually um, a coding file name. Okay, and I'm going to just hit enter. All right, so now that it's created, let's look at that script. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that, and it'll open up Visual Studio. Now in Visual Studio, it has um, already a template set up for me for my um, script. Um, it has a few different things set up. It connects to the Unity engine, which is um, uh, allowing me to control things within Unity. It already set up a class called Hello World, and we'll be talking about the mana behavior part later. But I do want to point out that this Hello World 
no spaces all jammed together needs to be exactly the same name as my script. So I've got hello world.cs. It shows up here. All right. So there's a couple of methods here and one of them is the start method and anything we put in there runs once before the first frame of my, um, of, of my program runs. So it'll actually just run whatever I put inside of there one time. The update would be called once per frame. So it would happen many times um, per minute. So we'll deal with that in a minute. But for now, we're going to go ahead and um, edit the start method. So in the start method, go ahead and enter debug.log and then in parentheses quote, I'm writing hello. So what this is saying is that I want to write to the console whatever I put in these quotes. So I'm writing hello. Notice it's giving me a little error here because every um, really command that we're doing in C sharp needs to be finished with a semicolon. And C sharp is very specific to this and picky. So um, your program won't run if you miss a semicolon in the appropriate spot. So make sure that's there. And we're going to go ahead and save this file. So notice up by the name here, it says hello world.cs with the asterisk. That means that a change was made without it being saved. So we need to save it. So I can go ahead and just go file, save. I could just say save all, or I could go control S, which is what I often do to save. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump back to um, Unity. And we're gonna make sure the console pane is visible and I'm going to hit the play button at the top of the screen. And I'm on purpose going to do something that's not going to work. So just to give you a heads up, I'm going to hit play. And I would hope that my console would then show um, something. It should say hello, right? Well, nothing's there because we didn't attach the script to any object in the screen, in the, in the scene. So without that, it won't run. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the, the play button again. And what I need to do is go back into project. I need to attach this file up to an object in the sample scene. And for now, instead of creating new game objects, we're just going to attach this to the main camera. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take my hello world CS file and drag it up to the main camera. And so what it's gonna do is attach that scene, that script to the main camera object. Once again, we're not doing anything with, with visuals yet. Um, that will come um, later. Now, if I wanna see if an object has something attached to it, if I click on there, there's this inspector and notice things will change. If I click on something else, it'll set different um, uh, values. But if I go to main camera and I look down at the bottom, notice it says hello world script. So that shows that my hello world is attached to the main camera. So when I hit play now and I go to my console, notice it says hello. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop. Now I do wanna point out, notice my screen, um, everything except my scene was turning pink when I ran it. Um, I have a setting so that uh, it's, kind of alerts me that I'm running uh, things. So yours typically would not be doing that. It would just stay the same color. So I just wanted to explain that. But notice it says hello. And um, that's exactly what we asked it to do. All right. The other thing is by default, you likely, I'm going to click on these three dots in my console pane here. There are different things that are by default. Typically, you would have the timestamp showing, and um, I believe you would have um, under log entry, oftentimes it'll have two lines. I think that's usually the, the default, where it would show a bunch of things. It would show the timestamp, the output, and a bunch of the information. Um, if it's showing up like that, that's fine as well. If those things are bothering you, you can hide them by clicking on these three dots, I'm going to hide timestamp so it gets rid of that. And I can also change this under log entry to one line, which then only shows my output. And I kind of prefer that. 
Okay, so let's add a little bit more. I'm gonna go back into Visual Studio. Now I didn't close it, I just switched over to Unity. So at the bottom of my screen, I'm going over to Visual Studio now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add something else to my file. Um, and I'm going to be putting it under update. And uh, since it's hello world, let's have it say world. So if I want it to say world, I'm gonna go debug log world with a semicolon. So as I said before, start, we'll run this once, whatever's inside these two curly braces. And with update, it will run everything inside these curly braces once per frame. Now Unity is kind of like an animation tool as well. So it should possibly run, you know, like 26 frames per second. So it's gonna go pretty fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I did a control S jump over into Unity, and since I already connected my script to the camera, I don't need to do that again. All I need to do is hit play. And so now notice it's saying world, 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 like crazy. Over here, it's got the count of how many lines I'm on. I'm already over a thousand. So I'm gonna hit stop here and scroll up and show you that the first one was hello. It did that once. And then it will repeat world essentially forever until I stop the program. Now, if you only see one world line, something that um, may have happened is um, if you have this collapse button there, it may say hello world and only show it once, but notice it shows the count over here. So in this case, I had 3,757 worlds. So if I hit play again, you could kind of see that in action. So that's something some people prefer. So I did hello once and now it's counting up the number of worlds. So that is a basic um, hello world program. I know that's very basic, but it's um, making sure that your uh, Unity is installed, that Visual Studio is working with Unity, and that's really how we're gonna be doing all of our coding between these two things, by creating um, files here, by opening them up and editing them in Visual Studio, but then running it in Unity. Now, after I'm done, what I wanna do is I wanna save this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say save project. And it already had it in the spot, so I don't need to do a save as. Um, and uh, then I can just close this and everything should be fine when I open it again. Now, sometimes if I say this, it'll say, do you want to save changes made to the scene? And yes, that would be fine. Just go ahead and hit save. In fact, you would like to save your, your um, things in a scene. So if it at least reminds you if you forgot. And I can go ahead and close this as well.